Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex and in today's video, I want to show you this really awesome keyword tool uh, I just discovered. Uh, it's called Entity Explorer, entityexplorer.com. I will drop a link in the description. Basically, it's a free tool uh, by, <laughs> by, by, by Marketer Center uh, to use for creating authoritative, authoritative content with deep entity research and visual entity maps. So I'm just going to jump right into it and show you how this tool works. So you can see the two searches I did already. Um, I'm just gonna jump into this one because it was really interesting, the output that I gave you. So you just enter your broad keyword, category, uh, topic, keyword, location, whatever, uh, and then just let it cook. What you get does not look very interesting, right? It's just this. But what's very cool about this keyword tool is it's not gonna give you everything you want every time, uh, but what's very cool is if you know your niche well enough, you can then find uh, the topic, right? You can click find topics, masks, uh, mass suggest, find entities, uh, and you can stretch it here. Basically, what you can do to find an insane list of keywords really quickly is just click find topics, right? From here, it gives you all of these which you can then paste into a spreadsheet or maybe even add to this tool. But for example, if you did have a post things to do in Moncton, right? And you did mention Hopewell Rocks, uh, or if you had a blog post about Hopewell Rocks, here is a lot of uh, supporting content you can either create or add to the Hopewell Rocks post, right? How to get to Hopewell Rocks, um, what to do at Hopewell Rocks, why it's important, um, where to stay, stuff like that, right? And you can do that for each of them. And even if you kind of click through to uh, tourist attractions, right? Not so relevant, not so relevant for that one. But for example, Magnetic Hill, another um, another thing to do in Moncton, right? Uh, it gives you just a whole bunch of related, relevant content, uh, relevant keywords that you can add to your content, right? How does it work? Is it really magnetic? Uh, explained, right? What is it? Uh, really cool useful tool. Uh, and let's just try another keyword. Let's try something random. Let's go with uh, a, a local service business. Let's do pest control Halifax. And let's see what it cooks up with, right? So what's cool here uh, is that it is giving you a lot of kind of related keywords uh, that you would want to add to your pest control site. Interesting to me is pest management, right? You go to find topics. And now you have all this content that you can add to a pest control site, right? Why is pest management important? Pest management strategy, uh, pest management methods, pest management in agriculture. If you have a pest control business in Halifax or in any, in any location, right? You just found a whole bunch of new keywords that you can use um, to create content, to build out supporting content, uh, and to just help with topical relevance, with semantic authority, everything from the keyword uh, research and uh, SEO perspective. Uh, and let me just show you the one I had done for Digital Nomad Visa, another interesting site that I am working on, right? And so here, right, you have all these different keywords that you can uh, create content around without having to rely on ChatGPT. Uh, and it's really interesting, it's just the layout here. And again, e-residency, if you click find entities, what does it do? Look at that. So from e-visa, right, just gives you a whole bunch of more keywords. And let me see if we add something, Estonia add right just as Estonia so not super relevant but again if you want to build out this this keyword uh, this kind of entity map right you can just say residency program citizenship uh, digital identity card yeah and then now you have all of this related to e-residency in Estonia right and you could just go through each of these and see kind of what it gives you from entities Right, passport, maybe not so related. And then tourist visa, yeah, stuff like that. So it's a really cool tool. I encourage you guys to check it out. Uh, I am going to use it to build out some categories uh, and topical relevance for one of my sites. Really interesting tool I thought I'd share with you guys. I'm sure it's gonna have a lot more uh, uses once I spend more time using it. And again, you can even export the image. So you can even use this for things like client sites. Uh, yeah, super cool tool, guys. Check it out, entityexplorer.com for finding keywords, additional keywords as opposed to using ChatGPT or Bard or SEMrush or something. As always, you guys, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, critiques. I love hearing from you guys, and we will see you in the next video.